Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the Through the Evolve High Speed Blender. This is currently, I think it's safe to say, the most advanced high tech high speed blender on the planet. This machine is able to uh, vacuum the air out of the jar before blending your smoothie. And this machine is able to steam vegetables and is able to actually boil and cook soups. It has two different jars. This one for cooking, where there's an actual heating element inside. And then this one for smoothies and nut butters, where there is this little valve here, sucking the air out of the jar before making your smoothie. On top of that, this machine is voice controlled so you can actually speak to it and it will it will follow your command look here hi fruity i'm here and then i can ask it to do different things hi fruity hi fruity hi fruity hi fruity Yes, she's responding almost every time. And then we have this touch interface. This is made from plastic. It's not gonna stay shiny and black like this for long. I can assure you that. It's gonna get full of small scratches. Why don't they make it from glass? I don't understand. Why can't they make it like they did on this stereo from the 90s? It also has touch. And it never had one scratch. But now, today, everything is made from plastic. And... Um, Then, when you make your soup in this jar with the heater, the soup will slightly burn on the bottom. And even though you want to make smooth soup, hi fruity, hi fruity, hi fruity. Hi Fruity. I'm here. Yeah, now you're here. You see, it can make both smooth soup and chunky soup. Unfortunately, the smooth soup is not as smooth as you could wish it to be. So I actually prefer to just boil my vegetables in a pot and then put them in a blender, which is working and which is able to Blend it on high speed instead of this all-in-one wannabe machine. Yeah, it's sad. But a blender for which costs 70 euros like this. My mother's old blender. It can do the same as this one, which costs 500 euros. And how much does a heating plate and a pot cost? I've seen them for around 20 euros. Yeah, so that means the soup cooking function fails. Let's move on to this jar for smoothies. We put it on the machine. And this 
is the vacuum lit you see the little pipe here going into the hole and then you hear that and then it should work like that yeah I just had a smoothie now and I'm sad to say that the vacuum function doesn't work it was completely dry yes the lid was dry everything was dry like they say it has to be in the instructions manual but I heard the air slipping out as fast as it as air slipping in as fast as it was slipping out so there was no vacuum in my smoothie and also you see the numbers on the jar they are already starting to peel off and um, it is actually not that efficient this knife set up down here there are six knives but trust me the Vitamix makes more smooth smoothies than these six very sharp knives I made a smoothie this morning with cashews and still after I blended it one minute extra on top of the I think it's high smoothie high fruity high fruity I'm here make my smoothie okay starting smoothie function two and a half minutes so it takes the air out of the jar for uh, one and a half minute I think it is and then blends for one minute and I had to blend one minute extra and still there were chunks of cashews in my smoothie yeah and you also see in here it's dirty behind the plastic between the plastic and the jar the glass jar it's dirty and you can never get out this dirt and this dirt has accumulated just after three days of use so I wonder how it's gonna look after one year of use and on top of that every single time you have to remove this gasket here and clean underneath which is also very time consuming but there is one good thing about this blender two good thing actually the one thing the glass jars which means you won't ever have to experience these uh, matte cloudy plastic jars in your blender anymore I believe glass jars for even high-speed blenders are the future and I don't understand why Vitamix hasn't switched to glass jars a long time ago it's much more durable and I believe it's also much healthier because why do they get cloudy the plastic jars it's because small bits of plastic comes off these they just stay shiny and clean forever so that's the positive thing and the other positive thing is that this machine is actually able to make nut butters much better than the Vitamix it doesn't uh, cut off in the overheating and it just continues and it makes very nice smooth nut butters I can show you here the nut butter I made so if you are totally into nut butters maybe you want to try this machine look how nice and delicious it looks and tastes mmm this one is hazelnut so good and then of course you have the design of the machine I, I think this is one of the most beautiful design blenders ever yes 
sad but true this machine is just too high tech for me too advanced too many functions and too little thought through so I wrapped up everything nicely in the bags and then I'm just gonna return it to where it came from in the Netherlands I'm sorry Fruity it was such a short relationship but that's how it has to be I'm going to get myself the cheapest high-speed blender from Aliexpress I think it's around 60 euros and then I'm going to sell my Vitamix and then I'm just gonna be happy with the simple life and uh, cook my soup in a bowl thank you for developing this better luck next time